Hey, good morning. It's Brian Biggs here. It is Tuesday, the 24th of March. I hope everyone's doing well. Better than yesterday. At least as good as you're going to be tomorrow. Uh, here in Philadelphia, it's nice and sunny. Yesterday was a really dreary day. Um, and with all the news, I just kind of had to turn the, the radio off and and listen to goofy music all day long. Today, uh, it's lovely outside. My wife got up and went for a run this morning. Um, it's still weird. Nobody's out. Shops are closed. Coffee shops are empty. It's just a strange thing, and I think it might just get a little stranger before it's all over with. So I hope you're home. Hope you're cozy. Hope you're getting your homework done. Um, today, a book, uh, the book I'm going to read is called Tinyville Town Gets to Work. It's the first book in the Tinyville Town series. And I thought about it because when I got here into my studio this morning, I looked at my desk and I was, all this stuff was lying all around. Um, it's hard to kind of show. Let me see. I can probably show a little bit of how this looks. It's a, it's a disaster. Um, I have all of my uh, art supplies out, research materials. I'm working on a book right now about a little girl who believes that she's a superhero. So I've been working on these sketches yesterday. And uh, this is gonna be my main character here, it looks like. And so yeah, she believes she's a superhero. And so basically in the middle of all of this weirdness, uh, people are still getting stuff done, including myself. It's difficult at times, but uh, I mean, my job is, is what it is. I'm drawing a little girl who thinks that she's a superhero. Other people have to write annual reports. Some people have to drive buses. Um, so I hope you're able to get your work done today. Uh, so like I said, today we're going to read a book from the Tinyville Town series called Tinyville Town Gets to Work. Let me get pencils out of the way here. It's the first book of the Tinyville Town series. It came out in 2017, I believe, 2016. And it's about a town that builds a bridge. Uh, let's get started on it. Uh, this was published by Abrams Appleseed. And um, it's got a note from the author that I'm going to read to you. We've read a few Tiny Voltan books, but I'm, this is the way the series began. And this author that the note is from happens to be uh, me. So let's go. Um, Hi, where are you from? Is your hometown a big city or is it a small town? Maybe it's a tiny village in the mountains. I'm from Little Rock, a city that sits next to a big river right in the center of the state of Arkansas. When I was 11, I moved to Pasadena, Texas, which is a smaller town not far from the Gulf of Mexico. As an adult, I lived in New York City, San Francisco, and Paris, France. Now I live right here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Each of these places is different, but the one thing I've noticed they have in common is the people. Barbers, bakers, doctors, construction workers, teachers, and librarians all working together. I bet it's like that where you live too. These communities of people inspired me to create Tinyville Town. In Tinyville Town, the mayor says hello to the bus driver and buys a donut from the baker every morning. The police officer asks the librarian for help finding a book. The firefighter's dog has to go to the veterinarian. Everyone works together to make Tinyville Town a great place to be. I've lived in a lot of different cities and neighborhoods, but I've lived in Tinyville Town my whole life. I'm glad you've come for a visit, and I really hope you like it here. And it's signed by me, Brian Biggs. So let's, uh, let's read a book. <clears throat> Take a seat. Tinyville Town gets to work. Good morning. Welcome to Tinyville Town. When I start, I'm going to start this again in a moment. When I wrote this, I thought of that Robin Williams movie, uh, Good Morning Vietnam, a lot. I, I remember out loud here alone in my studio to myself, Good morning, Tinyville Town, which was kind of silly and weird, but welcome to my world. So, good morning. Welcome to Tinyville Town. Every day, the people of Tinyville Town get to work. The baker makes the most delicious donuts. The trash collectors collect the trash. The bus driver drives the bus, getting everyone to work on time. Everyone has a job to do. Yuck, no donuts? But this morning, something isn't right in Tinyville Town. The bus is late, says Mayor Murphy. There must be a problem. It's Mayor Murphy's job to solve problems. Mayor Murphy finds the police officer. Do you know what the problem is, he asks. 
I'll tell you what the problem is, she replies. Look, the trash collectors can't collect the trash. The baker can't open his bakery. And the bus driver can't get to the bus stop. It's a traffic jam! This is where you make beeping sounds. Uh-oh, says Mayor Murphy. This is a big problem for Tinyville Town. What, what should we do? The crowd says, We need a new bridge! Come on, say it with me. We need a new bridge! Mayor Murphy knows just what to do. He meets with Tinyville Town's engineer and city planner. The old bridge was built when Tinyville Town was much smaller, says the engineer, but now we need a bridge that is wider so more cars, trucks, and buses can get across. The bridge should also be stronger, says the city planner, so it can carry these cars, trucks, and buses as Tinyville Town grows. Perfect, says Mayor Murphy. Can you also add big steel arches so the bridge is beautiful to look at? The engineer and the city planner think for a moment. Yeah, we can do that, they reply. Mayor Murphy holds a press conference. The newspaper reporter and the television crew record every word he says. My fellow citizens of Tinyville Town, says the mayor, we're building a new bridge. It will be bigger, stronger, and more beautiful than the old bridge. Let's get to work. Newspaper headlines. Construction begins. Not so tiny anymore, says mayor. The excavation crew begins by digging deep into the banks of the river. This creates a strong foundation for the big concrete piers that will hold the new bridge. Careful! The crane operator lifts enormous stones high onto the piers. Expert stonemasons carefully place the stones in or carefully put the stones in place. Brave iron workers assemble the big steel arches for the new bridge. The arches look beautiful and make the new bridge much stronger than the old one. Finally, the road crew paves the bridge and paints wide lanes onto the road so cars, trucks, and buses can get by. The bridge is finished and it's opening day. All of Tinyville Town is here. Mayor Murphy cuts the ribbon. Shink. The new Tinyville Town Bridge is now open, he says. Hooray! Everybody, yay! Clap, blow up balloons, march across a bridge, but in your house, in your imagination. This is Tinyville Town. I dedicated this book to my wife, Sasha. She likes to eat donuts and rowboats, just like me. Okay, so Tinyville Town got to work. Um, so tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm not sure what book I'm going to read tomorrow. If you have any requests, put them in the comments. I'd love to know what you'd like me to read. Uh, we've got lots of books in my closet here, and I can get them out, and, uh, and we'll go through them as time allows. So... Uh, thanks for coming. It's been nice to virtually see you. I'm going to get back drawing on my, uh, my book about the, the little girl superhero now. And um, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.